Hi, welcome to DBA. Today, we're at BRM Automotive, where our friend Benny is going to show us how to change the brake system on this Volkswagen Golf using DBA's Street Series products. Let's get started. First things first, let's get the car off the ground. Be sure to wear the correct safety equipment when working with chemicals and components. He'll remove the bolts in a star pattern and safely remove the wheel from the hub. After a quick inspection of the system, Benny can now get started on the removal process. We start by removing the bolts attached to the caliper. He moves the caliper out of the way to get access to and remove the old brake pads. Also unplug the brake pad sensor if the car has one. Remove the bolts on the back of the hub holding the caliper mounting bracket. Remove the bolt that secures the brake disc to the hub and give it a decent tap to get the disc loose if needed. Remove the clips holding the brake line. Loosen the bolt on the end of the brake hose and slide it out of the bracket. Be sure to have a drip tray or pan ready as there'll be some spillage on the floor. Clean away any loose debris and spillage. Now we can start putting parts back in. In short, the installation will be the reverse of the removal process. So let's start with the brake hose. You'll need to align the new brake hose with the pattern on the bracket. Hand tighten the brake hose bolt and secure it tight with a spanner. Before installing the new rotor, clean the hub with a wire brush to remove any rust, which will help prevent lateral runout, which may cause your brakes to shake or vibrate when in use. Wipe away any loose debris. Time for the new rotors. Benny will be installing DBA's Street Series T2 rotor. Use a light solvent to wipe away any packaging residue. Be careful not to apply any solvents to the painted areas. Place the rotor on the hub and line it up with the bolt holes. Tighten your locking bolt in place. Depending on your make and model, DBA have OEM replacements for your brake calipers. Check out the parts finder section on our website to see what we have available for your vehicle. Be sure to fit the correct caliper for each side. Remove the safety cap to allow your new brake line to fit in the caliper. You can fit the new caliper in the reverse process. First, we fit the bolts to the caliper frame and torque the bolts tight. Now you can fit the brake hose to the caliper using the included washers. Be sure to properly secure and tighten the brake hose at both ends and refit your clips to the brackets. Now on to brake pads. We'll be using DBA Street Series brake pads as they've been designed and engineered for your everyday driving experience. Remove the caliper to get access to the area for your brake pads. You can line up the new brake pads with the clips on the end with the inserts in the caliper like so. Be sure to install the correct sides. Apply the included anti-squeal compound to your new pads. Reattach the caliper, thread the bolts in and secure them tight.
Your new pads should also have a sensor if your old one did, so remember to plug the new one in. Spray down and wipe off any leftover brake fluid residue as it's acidic and may corrode your vehicle's trim. You can now repeat the removal and installation process on the opposite side of the vehicle. After you've installed all your new brake components, it's time to bleed the brakes. Locate your brake master cylinder and top it up with the correct brake fluid for your vehicle. DBA has a complete range of brake fluids for you to choose from. Nip it back up. Connect your rubber hose. Now the bottle, what you want to show is that the fluid level, the hose is below the fluid level in the bottle. That way the air won't recirculate and it will come out through the fluid. Connect the rubber hose. Crack the bleed nipple. Make sure the hose is below the fluid level and then go around and pump the pit. So slowly, just pumping the brake pedal up and down through its stroke. About eight to ten pumps. Go back, close the bleed. Remove the hose and then place it back on the rack. We move to the other side. Remember to refill your brake fluid to the marked fill line after each time you bleed aside. After you've bled your brakes and your car is ready to go back on the road, you'll have to bed in your new brake system. Let's listen to the bedding in process from our friend Benny. We've just replaced the calipers, rotors and brake pads and hydraulic hoses on this beat up Golf. We're just going to take it now and bed the brake pads in. We've fitted T2 series rotors, street series pads, replacement hydraulic lines and brand new calipers. So the bedding procedure requires around about 10 stops from 50 k's an hour down to about 10 k's an hour just using gentle brake pressure, not pushing too, too hard. Don't let the car stop, resume, back up to 50 k's an hour, watching out for the traffic, gentle brake pressure, slowing down to about 10 k's and repeat this process for around about 10 to a dozen stops. The idea is that you're getting the two surfaces to mate, so the new brake pad is mating to the new disc surface and bringing any of the chemicals to the surface of the pad and cleaning them out so that you get a nice surface for the two to act against each other once they've cooled off. It'll increase your brake pad life and increase to make the pedal feel a whole lot better. After bedding in the new brakes, Benny will now perform a test to demonstrate the performance difference and benefits of our new DBA brake system. I hadn't had to push nearly as hard to get a similar sort of result. Right, so these results here, these are the minimum requirements for your rego to pass. So 60, so we're 20% above the requirement using 271 newtons, whereas before I was using 507 newtons. So with the new pads and rotors installed, we're not having to push as hard to get the same stopping effect. <laughs> 